think I miss his car. So for the, like the past probably what four years now, I think I lost track. Honestly, I've been using this car for driving, of course, duh. But you know, I got my license about four years ago, and I've taken this thing a lot of places. It's not too far away, of course. I think I've stuck to Southwest Ohio mainly, um, but I've taken this car a lot of places, and it's followed me throughout this YouTube channel. Um, I did all these different, you know, the on-location videos. They're all featuring this car in all different kinds of seasons, weather, um, everything. I mean, this thing has seen more of me on the road than anything else. Um, you know, probably not as much as you guys, of course, but you know, it's just it's seen just a whole lot. You know, a whole lot of action, a whole lot of miles, um, and yeah, it's just been really a big part of what's got me out here, photographing different stuff. You know, nature and the outdoors, of course. But um, yeah, I'm just I don't know. I'm gonna miss it. So, so if you, you probably tell by the title of the video. Um, basically, I'm getting a new car, and uh, so it's gonna be not new, new car, but it's gonna be new to me, of course. Um, but it's gonna be a, definitely a big upgrade. So, um, this is a 1999 uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo. Uh, it's a four-liter uh, V6 engine, all that stuff. Um, whatever. I don't know too much about cars, honestly. Um, but yeah, so um, I'm gonna be upgrading, and um, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, you know, the next day or so. Let me get something a lot newer so I can go up farther and travel up farther. So, yeah. So, but yeah, I'm just making this video as a little sentimental reason, I guess, a milestone, a uh, moment in time of when I had this car my last few days here. So, well, let me take you on a tour of it. Don't hate me for this, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm just starved, man. I've been on the road all day today, so I'm gonna eat a nice organic Honeycrisp apple. It's a spot, but anyways, this video is gonna be really all over the place, probably, um, just simply because I'm just rambling at this point, and um, you know, just talking about the good old stories about this car. I mean, like I said, I got it was 94k miles. First off, I bought it for like 1350, so you know, and paid cold hard cash to the owner, uh, the previous owner. And um, yeah, I mean, just you know, paid off right then. Of course, you know, just that little bit of money there. But you know, that meant so much to me to get this really old car. But um, you know, most Jeeps are pretty, um, you know, formidable, I guess you'd say. And so yeah, and then yeah, just I, I started out at 94k miles on the um, the uh, odometer, and then so I think I got up to about I think it's about 114k now. So I mean, I've used a lot over the past four years or so. Um, so yeah, just taking different places around here, man. So, I mean, like right now I'm actually here, middle of nowhere as you can tell, but it's actually an old horse park um, that, you know, I go here birding quite a bit. It's called Twin Towers Park. Um, I made a long location video about it actually as well. Um, but yeah, just so many memories of this car. I mean, it's just, it's taking me around, you know, even like not even just photography, but also just like the, like the other stuff, like uh, the festivals and stuff. You know, it's, I brought my tire, my frames, my work, everything on the road here. And it's just amazing to think, you know, just the amount of years I've had this car and everything. Um, just really just, you know, surmounting up to this point here. But, um, you know, I'm looking forward to this upgrade and everything. So um, it should be pretty nice, I think. So, you know. Yeah, I don't know. So it's just a lot. A lot of good times with the car. You yeah, know, a lot of good times. But. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a really nice Jeep, you know, it's four-wheel drive, so it gets you through all different kinds of weather and everything. Um, I even uh, represent local um, nature preserves, so I got Glen Helen license plate. I've had this about, I think, about a year and a half um, by now, so I recommend, you know, check out your local nonprofits or different memberships or um, any kind of na nature-related uh, source of, um, you know, organization. You see if you can get a specialty license plate, so, but yeah, I mean... This car is, you know, it's taking on the road and everything, and um, you know, I'm really gonna miss it. So, how many times can I say that though? In this video, though, that's a that's a real problem. But I'll just leave it to now the big reveal here. Um, I'm getting a 2013 Ford Edge um, for my parents, actually, which is pretty cool, uh, I guess. But so something newer. So I mean, basically, what I'm getting at with this, and I'll keep this quick, I guess. But you know, I'm gonna be making a lot more 
uh, videos further out, doing longer locations, like um, you know, some of my, I guess you call them dream locations that you know, I haven't been to, um, you know, just because simply they're too far away and everything with this older vehicle. I'm looking forward to really finally getting to uh, go to them and everything. So um, it's gonna be next on the list, I think. And um, you know, just going out to you know much larger and you know, bigger and grander locations here, um, here in uh, Southwest Ohio and just the entire Buckeye State in general. Um, so yeah, all of that I'm really looking forward to here. And um, you know, delivering I guess more videos to you guys, and um, you know, checking some different places off my bucket list uh, for different locations, and um, yeah, just different photographs, of course. So I just keep doing more and more and more of what I want to do, and uh, it's really hard to talk when you have an apple in your mouth too. Take it from me, I almost choked on an apple slice as a kid, um, but um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. You know, doing lots of bigger hikes and everything too, of course, and um, yeah, just delivering more of that, you know, video. Uh, content to you guys uh, the viewers here so you're a big part of what I do here and uh, I guess I'm just gonna say it now I'm thinking about you know just a big thank you to everyone that supported the channel um, and all my friends and um, you know there's, there's quite a few people list there but you know you know who you are um, needs no introduction and all that stuff of course too um, so yeah um, yeah I don't know there's really not much else to say like I said I'll just keep rambling here incessantly and um, you know it's no fun for you it's probably no fun for me honestly um, but you know, really enjoyed this vehicle. Um, but like I said, you know, it's it's days are limited, and um, you know, I think my days of using it for photography and driving in general are pretty much over by now. Um, but I'm looking forward to the new uh, vehicle, and um, yeah, like I said, more and more of uh, what I love to do here, and uh, what you guys love, of course, too. So um, yeah, so I guess I'll, guys, I guess I'll see you in the morning, and um, we'll check out the new vehicle uh, when it gets here. So um, yeah. I'll see you then. Well, I mean, I guess now I'm thinking about it, you know, I will explain kind of like my, I guess, thinking with this, because, you know, I guess with like doing this small business thing and everything, it's, it, you know, it, money's hard to come by, of course, you know, so you have to really kind of play your cards right and uh, do stuff that's, um, it's more like business minded, I guess, um, that, like I said, if you're trying to make it so. It, and so, yeah, I mean, it's just like one of those things I've been thinking like, and maybe this is like, kind of like a cool question maybe to think for yourself too, is that, um, you know, like versus, you don't really have to choose like a divisive thing, like you don't have to choose one or the other. I'm just saying, it's like it raises the question, especially if like maybe you're in a position kind of similar to I am. Um, but that is, you know, new camera gear versus a new car or, you know, newer camera gear versus a newer car. You know, obviously it can be used, of course, either way. Um, but, you know, I'm just thinking it's like, what I want really at this point, you know, at this moment in time is I want to go out and explore new locations, you know, film new new videos. Um, of course, get photographs at these new locations. Um, there's tons of different ones I have in mind here. And um, yeah, so, and the gear, it's like, really does not matter to me. Like, it never, it never really has. I never really went down that kind of rabbit hole that, you know, a lot of people get into of just, you know, always looking at the newest, latest and greatest gear and everything and talking about the specs and everything. Um, I just, I never really quite honestly found that fascinating, honestly. You know, it's just never been really something I've been, you know, cared too much about. You know, I, I can talk gear and I do like talking about gear sometimes, but um, it's merely from like a perspective of doing something more creative with photography. But like I said, it's just, it's more about, I want to have the experiences outdoors and uh, the, you know, the gear be the excuse to go out there and get the photographs, of course. Um, but you know, with the means of travel and you know, transportation like this, you know, so if I get something newer and everything, I can go out and do more of that, I think. And that you know, that would be great, of course. And so, you know, I, th I think that's what I'm really like, most looking forward to um, with this circumstance that I'm in right now, this kind of like period of transition here, is that you know, I will use this car to you know, its fullest extent and go out and you know, travel more and everything. And um, so I'm really looking forward to it. And like I said, you know, maybe it's a question you should really, you know, raise to your own kind of, uh, you know, voice, I guess, and just think about really like, what do you really want the most, I guess, if you had to choose, you know, hopefully you're not in this position, I guess, but it's like, if you had to choose, you know, one or the other, you know, which one would you choose? Or even if you're not, you know, it just as like a hypothetical, merely speaking, you know? So, you know, new gear is nice, but like, it's not always, it's not everything, you know, it's not always, you might get some better photographs with some new and improved gear, but like it's not gonna, you know, allow you to travel up farther, you know, necessarily. And so, 
yeah, I guess, I guess that's where the, you know, the point I'm trying to drive home here, so, you know, <laughs> drive home. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that's, that's really what I'm lo most looking forward to, I think, in the near future is just, you know, getting out there more, you know, using the same old gear I've used all this time, you know, as long as I've had this vehicle and even longer than that. You know, some of those lenses I've had for over five years or more, and so, yeah, it's just stuff like that, so, you know. I think on that note, I'm going to, yeah, actually head out now, finally. And um, so, yeah, guys, I will see you in the morning and, um, or, you know, or anywhere else. And then, um, you know, get to see this new car and, uh, like I said, put all these plans and stuff in the motion. So I'm really looking forward to it. And so, yeah, I'll leave it at that. So thanks so much for watching, everyone. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, I guess. Um, and so, yeah, thank you so much. Have a great day. Alright, so this is it everyone, uh, the t it's a 2013 Ford Edge, um, it's all wheel drive, it's the SEL version, that model of the Edges, but um, it's very, very nice, I really like it so far, um, I haven't really done anything too extensively to the like any kind of modifications or anything, because I just really don't see the need with it, um, this is basically one of the base models, um, and it works pretty well, and um, still does after all these years, um, really low mileage, um, I just now hit 14k, which, I mean, 14,000 miles for an almost 10-year-old car now is, is pretty impressive, I'd say. And um, all I really did was add this kind of hard-style rubber uh, rear bumper cover, basically. So when I'm getting in and out, you know, all the cargo and all that stuff in the back, um, that's what I use, of course. But, um, yeah, so far I've been dri driving it about two, three weeks now, and um, it's, I've been getting kind of acclimated to it. There's a little bit of a difference compared to the Jeep as, as it was, really. Um, but I mean so far it's been going pretty well I think overall and I've been really enjoying it and so I can't wait to take it on some more road trips and uh, go out camping and backpacking and of course for photography speaking of course too. So I think with that being said um, I'm going to actually give you a little bit of a tour now now that I've kind of tricked it out and uh, loaded it up with all my gear and stuff and I'll just kind of take you on a tour of maybe uh, potentially in the near future when I do go on these trips. Um, you know, just all this different kind of things I would bring. Um, so this, this video might be kind of informative or interesting for some of you. Um, if not, you know, too bad. But I mean, so it's just a little bit of an uh, informational video about, you know, what I can actually, you know, store in here, of course, too. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. The back, so it's got an automatic lift gate, which is pretty nice. And you can do it via the remote on the key fob as well. Um, so excuse all the mess. It is pretty messy back here. Um, I do have my road bike back here but I do use that for photography uh, sometimes to get around if I need to for like a bike trail or something of course um, there's my bike helmet down there um, these are my waiting boots I just used them recently so I'm just letting them dry back here and I got everything on this uh, this husky liner cargo net hard plastic and um, I've got everything on this hard plastic um, looks like a, it's basically like a liner that you know protects the the interior of it and then also for just double layer of protection I also have this quilt that I lay um, specifically the bike on because it does have lots of sharp pieces and you know just kind of keep it from moving around too much and have the bungee cords on uh, both ends there so that way it just makes it a lot easier and then so uh, here is a five gallon gas tank it's empty right now but you know, if I do go on these big trips, it might be nice to have that so I can fuel up and I don't have to always stop at a gas station for that. Um, something kind of random, I just kind of keep in here because it's pretty small and doesn't take up too much space. But this is for like drying off boots and other things um, if I want to. So I can just lay it out, kind of like a, a floor mat, I guess. You know, wherever I happen to park, I guess. And so that's pretty much it for that. Um, this came with it. It's just like a cargo net. I'm, I don't really have too much of a use for it, so I throw it in this little uh, spare pocket, which is pretty deep. It's got a lot of volume to it, but I'm just, I throw it in here just because I have no other real use for it right now, at least. And so this first tote has, if I can get to it, hopefully, has lots of uh, automotive type stuff. So this is like stuff to aesthetically, you know, clean the car and stuff like, you know, microfiber cloths. I got some like auto wipes here. Um, but there's also lots of stuff, you know, if I'm stuck in a jam or something and I need some emergency equipment basically. So I got a portable fire hydrant here. I got some more coolant 
Um, I got these little frost guard things you can put over your mirrors and the windshield, the front windshield that is. So that way it keeps it protected, you know, and that way you don't have to warm it up and heat it up uh, for so long, you know, during the winter at least. I got towels. Uh, I think there's windshield wiper fluid. I got a couple different kinds of uh, different sizes of funnels. Um, there's a red emergency kit back there that um, just has a little bit of everything there. It has like a uh, face respirator, uh, band-aids of uh, different sizes, different patches, um, some just different uh, medical tape basically, all that kind of stuff. So that's, that's pretty much it for that. And so for the side door, um, I got two totes. I do have my camera gear with me today. So I'm going to put this aside here. Camera gear did not come included with the car, I promise. <laughs> and uh, this is a basically a sleeping pad. It's a Thermarest sleeping pad. Um, I don't really use this one as much, at least in my backpacking bag. Um, I do use an inflatable one nowadays, but this is the original sleeping pad I bought. It's a ridge wrist. And um, it's a decent, I think it's a medium size, because they do have like small, medium, large, if I recall. But um, I keep it in here just because, just in case I do need to sleep, I guess. I don't know. Uh, it's just nice to have and it just gets it out of the house of course too so here's the second tote I dropped it aggressively yeah I got all my stickers and stuff on there too of course uh, this has just random bits of gear and stuff I got my spotting scope um, shout out to Sean for uh, selling that to me still use it um, this is a ground pod I made it's like a do-it-yourself one so I can stick like a gimbal head on here and then have it and this is for like nice for beach sides or anything with like shorebirds I think in particular would be really nice for it but I've not actually used it yet to be honest but I made it a while ago so I guess this video will be a reminder to use it more um, this is my Benro carbon fiber tripod it's a cheap one it's slightly broken so I don't use it too much so I just keep it in here and uh, this is my fluid uh, tripod head it's for I mainly use it for like video and you know video work and just to get smooth panning and tilting of course so I keep that in there. Um, this is actually a bag for the Gitso tripod I have in there, but I just keep it in here because I don't really use these kind of bags. They're pretty lightweight and flimsy. Uh, this is a bug net. So if I ever want to like study, I guess, uh, like butterflies, you know, dragonflies, damselflies, just use a simple, just cheap bug net. So it gets the job done. And the rod, the rod fort's right in there. Um, this is a spare bike tube. But that's pretty much it for that so so I got these three main totes like I said I got this one for car stuff and then these other two are just um, anything else pretty much that I would need while on the road so more stickers as you can tell this one includes more of a uh, clothing and stuff that's more like just basic amenities and stuff so I keep a spare rain jacket in here um, for obviously those times it rains abruptly, which could happen in Ohio because Ohio weather as most people know is really random So anything can happen uh, Here's a sun hat um, today. Obviously, I don't need it of course, but you know, this is great in midsummer um, It has like a little uh, Fold-out bug net thing that you know drapes around your neck. So that helps out as well, but it's just held by a drawstring uh, REI brand it works out pretty well. Oh, I failed the toss there. Uh, down jacket obviously this time of year. It's just kind of sitting in here um, But this is very very nice as you can imagine for uh, pretty much the other three seasons honestly keeps it nice and nice and warm This is for nice for my uh, hiking boots or any shoes or footwear is to use this to just scrub them off get them wet and then use this to kind of finish off any uh, residual mud dirt anything uh, two pillows just small size pillows uh, you Always got to get, bring the TP, of course. Uh, here's a small paper towel roll that I just have. Uh, this is like basically my rain kit. This is for like hiking and photography included. Um, this has, uh, for my big telephoto lens, it has a lens coat uh, rain jacket that wraps around it. That's what that real tree thing is in there. Uh, there's another, uh, for the camera bag actually I use, is a um, it's Tamrac uh, bag cover. And then there's also a lot of Ziploc bags. They're just laying in there as well. So I use all those, you know, just for anything else like like phone or my any other belongings like my wallet and stuff. Of course, uh, fingerless gloves, but they do have a like a mitten flap. Um, these are nice in the winter. Once again, I just kind of keep them in the car. Obviously, I don't need them this year, so I could uh, you know take them out, I guess, and bring them back home or keep them there rather. 
Uh, these are nice for uh, any kind of like gravelly, hard surfaces. Um, these are nice in botanical gardens in particular because usually have stone paths and I'm always kneeling down low to get you know, like the, the eye level perspective of the flower. So knee pads, pretty nice to have, never know. Uh, emergency blanket, so it's just, I never had to use that and hopefully never will honestly because I don't know how crinkly and plastically this actually can keep you warm, but apparently it can. But, like I said, I don't really want the day to try it, honestly. I got two sets of gaiters here. Uh, these are the smaller ones that just wrap around your ankle. Um, Outdoor Research, great brand, reliable. As you can see, I haven't used them in a while, but I have tried them out before and they work out real well. Um, but it's not really muddy today. It's pretty, pretty dry. Uh, these are larger gaiters. These go up to about your knee, uh, just below your knee, that is. And same thing, our Outdoor Research brand. And uh, the timer too, I have used these. Yeah, they worked out real well. And um, yeah, so pretty nice. So, as you can see, I, I keep it pretty light. I don't have too much in here, but obviously if I was camping or backpacking, I would bring more naturally. Um, you know, obviously I have like my sleeping bag, probably like my backpacking bag. And yeah, just other stuff, of course. A lot more food. I'll get to the food in a moment, but I don't, I don't have too much of it with me. But we bring all that there just kind of packs like so so I, I found three totes it works with the Jeep because for a while there I was using three these actually exact same three totes and it happened to fit in there as well and this this Ford Edge is about the same size too so it works out um, this big thing is not a gas or a, uh, excuse me a gas tank or anything fuel it's actually water uh, it's a seven gallons so that's nice to have um, not really doesn't really matter on a day like today because it is very very mild temps for July it is surprisingly um, this is these little for like baby chair or baby seats, um, booster seats. I use these as actually cargo tie downs with bungee cords. So I got my ice scraper in the winter. Um, get some monopod with the uh, gimbal head attached. This is a claw grabber for like trash or anything if I ever want to do, you know, some good deeds of service, I guess, for the day. Um, this is the frost guard that I was mentioning earlier that goes over the front windshield. And then just a big shovel in case you get stuck, of course, too. And uh, there's also a trekking pole, if you can see the tip of it. That's really dirty. It's, it's old and stuff, but um, yeah. So that's pretty much it for that. And then everything, just I have them tied down here, like I said, all, all three of the notches. So that way it just keeps it stuck in place. But, you know, having these two totes in the way, you know, usually does a job as well. So that works, too. right into the front so um, right now I have my camera bag in here because um, I'm gonna go out you know go on a little hike here and get some probably some bird shots for the day um, so pretty standard stuff there um, I do really like this feature is there's a business card holder so I do keep my business cards in there uh, pens tissue uh, just random stuff in there miscellaneous stuff you know playing cards the kill time I guess but other than that uh, various hats because I always seem to need one when I don't have one so I keep them in the car nowadays um, random reusable tote bag uh, this is a I think a gallon or two of water jug igloo water jug it works out pretty well this is for if I roll down the windows and I want to use my telephoto lens but I don't want to use the big one right here just place this down and put that in and um, so that way I can just rest the telephoto lens on it and um, get some shots from the car potentially uh, just some nuts can of nuts um, yeah, this is the big one where I can put actually like a full-on tripod head onto it and use it like that. And so, in here we have various, I just got some dried fruit, uh, some cranberries in particular. Got some cheap ramen. And these are just like little, I put like trail mix and other things in these. Um, so that's you know, usually what I use those for. But these four totes include usually like brochures and field guides as I'll show you. This one has uh, just some cookware. I have my second uh, backpacking stove. It's a MSR. Uh, I got a fire striker uh, to start the stove, of course. Um, a spare GPS. I don't really use this anymore because I built a nav into uh, this Ford Edge model here. Um, some bungee tie downs, the charger for the GPS, and then just toiletries. Um, and there's a couple maps of my local counties and um, other kind of like touristy landmarks and destinations. So keep all those there. And then in this one, I have field guides 
pretty much all field guides and trail maps and um, anything I ever, places I go to, I, I basically like collect them. So I just keep them here, of course. And then same with down there. And I got some of like some world maps, um, some maps of the United States that I keep in there as well. And yeah, all that sort. And everything's on this, you know, weather tech line or two. So yeah. It's pretty much it though. So I mean, it's it's a lot going on, um, but you know, it works for me, and um, it's not the most organized, but you know, I make I make it work for what it is. And obviously, when I'm am going on these camping backpacking trips, uh, I'm gonna have the bike out, and I'm gonna lay out my sleeping bag flat out on this side, and then have all the totes on this side. And so yeah, and then hopefully it works out pretty well. Um, obviously, I haven't done that yet, but you know, trial and error, we'll see how well it goes and go from there. So. That's pretty much it though so i hope you enjoyed this video guys um you know thank you so much for following my journey up till this point and um you know can't wait to gather some more and travel more and then yeah see what else is out in the world so yeah we'll leave it at that thanks so much for watching everyone and i hope you have a great day thank you